Hey YouTube. Alright, today is actually the 9th of April and we're going to do a, a tour of the food forest garden. Alright, so let's start over here. The first thing we have here is a miracle berry. Yeah, in, in a high producing plant. You know, for those who know the miracle berry is a berry that changes the flavor, you know, or the taste of acidic, you know, fruits like a lemon become sour you know etc you know over here we have a container with orange turmeric green turmeric ginger white turmeric ginger green turmeric black turmeric black turmeric black turmeric then we go over here we have some seedling of scotch bonnet pepper here that's looking very healthy another this is a Tobago seasoning pepper. This is the pepper that they also use in the Caribbean to make jerk sauce, just like the Scotch bonnet. But the Tobago seasoned pepper is not as hot. It's more of a sweetish flavor from the description of the package. I haven't tasted it yet, so I'm just giving you details from the, the package. Uh, another Scotch bonnet here is like another little one there I probably got to remove and put it in our container this is another scotch bonnet we have a trinidad scorpion pepper here you know we have some you know green leaf of greens over here let's walk over here this is a raza fruit yeah kind of slow growing i'm really waiting for it to, to take off yeah over here we have some catnip i think it is we got some sapodilla seedling over here you know and then we have a bunch of other seedling here roselle and some leafy greens we have some imbib seedling seedling right here we have this is bay leaf i think it is yeah over here we have our herb stuff over there more seedling right here we got our white guava which is from seed yeah and you can see it start pushing you know fruits and blooms and now it turn into fruits it, it right now it i don't see it's not looking like it's gonna have those high production here let's see though okay it's still early in the year yeah we have some fruits over here yeah all the branches have these like a small fruits so oh yeah yeah yeah, it will be a productive year here. Yep. And right behind that, we have some, you know, you know gungo peas, our pigeon peas. All right, let's go. Let's keep walking away. Over here, we have a banana that got hit earlier with the, the cold. Now it's bouncing back and just look at these are Namwa variety, you know, bananas. Over in that corner right there, we have a Monstera Dicilosa. We have a katuk from seed. One of the seed fell. A couple of them were growing over there. And there are coffee right there, which got hit by the cold. They don't don't seem to be coming back. Yep. Right here we have a moringa that I keep trimming back to feed the, the animals. And if you see right here, we have an orchid. Just, you know, right here on the, the, the moringa. So the ear root. And blooming some beautiful orchids right here. It's beautiful. Yep. This we is our tamarello. That's looking extremely good and pushing out a lot of pups. Let's walk over there. It is a lot of pups in yeah, pushing out right now and the bananas. Alright, right here we have a seedling of a Rallinia, which is looking good. Yeah. Yep. And right across from the Rallina, we have a, I think this is a curry variety of star fruit, which got hit hard by the cold a couple years ago. And I actually moved it from the west side of the garden and bring it to this side of the garden. And it's doing, doing a lot better. That's sometimes you have to do that, move things around. And right behind it, we have a wonderful pomegranate, which is looking good. I'm surprised. Yeah, pomegranate really, I know I have a problem growing in Florida, but let's see, yeah. Looking good, big, nice, beautiful tree. The leaves, leaves look healthy, yeah. 
Yeah, so hopefully push off some blooms or something pretty soon. Right below that we have a sour sap, which went through the coal in ground, yeah. But I guess to get protection from the, the bananas and everything over here, we have some cassava right beside the, the sour sap, yeah. And right beside us that we have some a curry leaf plant here. Yeah, beautiful, you know, aroma. Yeah, I love the fragrance of that. And we have a container here with a San Ignacio Jabo, I think. Red Lantern Jabo and something else is in this. <laughs> yeah, something that, some other, yeah, so another one is right here. I don't, there's some other seedling growing. I don't know what that is. All right, let's, let's go over here. We have a babaco right here, like three. Babaco is like mountain salt, mountain papaya. That's what, what it really is. Yep. All right. Let's 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 go over here. All right. Right here we have a strawberry guava. Yeah. Still waiting on fruits. Bloom a lot, but no fruits yet. Yeah. Right. Then over here we have a. This is another. This is another Rolinia, which is looking good right here. So we have one Rolinia on that side, one here. Then we have a Pitanga tuba, which is pushing out a lot of blooms here and stuff. Below that, we got some society garlic. We have aloe here. Right beside the Pitanga tuba, we have a curry plant, which is putting on a lot of nice, beautiful growth this year. All right, let's walk through here. We have a raised bed right here with some collards here, here, some corn here, which look like the worms are starting to attack the, that's our problem here in Florida is worms with a corn. And that's why I don't really grow a lot of these stuff, you know, big, you know because I'm not gonna use no for my chemical on my food. So they just gotta survive. I'm just gonna use the hose and wash it out, see what happens, yep. We got something going to see there, one of the brassicas. Um, down here we got a bunch of Everglades tomatoes which came over from the winter. And let, let's walk over here. Right here we got some mulberry, which is the world's best, you know, some of these leaves coming over from the winter. So it's gonna put on a lot of new growth right now, spring. Yeah, and kind the of beautiful berries. Then we go over here and we have the Suriname cherry, yeah, which my, my, my daughter just told me tastes like candy to her. Yep. Yep. So we've been getting a lot of fruits off of the Suriname cherry this year, which is kind of cool. See more, more here and they ripe really pretty fast. From, from this, let me show you something. From this stage, within a day, by tomorrow, it's probably gonna be ripen, ripen real quick, right through the day. It just seems like it is continuously ripening. All right, right here we have another star fruit. This is a dwarf Hawaiian. Let's go through here. Up some more sun, sunflower here. Yes, just my recent sunflower video, so we're not gonna spend time on that. Yeah, sunflowers, sunflowers all over. Right here we got a day avocado, which Something keep eating the leaves, maybe the chickens. Yep. Let's go through here. Here. We have a Gumi Chama here, which put on a lot of blooms. Miss yeah, it's right in the bush right here around the sunflower. Push on, push on a lot of blooms this year, but no fruit yet. Yep. And we come down here, we have the Maui mulberry, which grows so fast guys. I planted a stick like this this last year and look at the size of it right now. Look how big it is. Huge. Yep. And if you look over there, we have more bananas, Namwa. You know, Namwa is a good variety, guys. If you need a, if you're in Florida, if you're just moving to Florida and want bananas, get the Namwa, either the Dwarf or the regular Namwa. Yeah, yep. They don't break or nothing. They withstand storms, everything. You know, winter storm, <laughs> everything. When I say winter storm, I mean, you know, well in the 20s, it withstand that and, 
everything is still good. Let's walk over here. We have another curry plant uh, up down here. So we have a lot of curry plant. Uh, you see, curry plant, a good herb to have. Then we have the, the hog plum, hog plum as well, uh, which is loaded with fruits, guys. Okay. Like every branch, if you see this, look right through. Yeah, look down here. Loaded with fruits. Love it, love it. Yeah, and we have a katuk right here. Let's go around this corner. Then we have some volunteer tomato here, most likely it's Everglades. And right here, this beautiful plant here is a Mysore raspberry. If you need a raspberry that grows in the tropics, this is the ideal raspberry you, you need to get, the Mysore raspberry, yep. No fruit yet, but it's pushing a lot of flowers and stuff, so fruits in the next, in the next couple months, yep. Yep, we have a papaya right here that broke during the storm and it pushed out multiple branches and it's good. We have dragon fruit on this side too, that's trellising on a natural trellis, yeah, all right. Let, let's. Oh. All right, let's go. Let's step back here. We have moringa here, and we have a loquat here, both growing side by side, and, uh, and they're both striving and looking beautiful. This is a June plum, guys, and I almost lost this tree because we haven't gotten rain so long, and it's the water. It had a lot of new growth, and everything just died. You know, I was like, wonder what was wrong. And I was like, you know, let me just water it. And I put the hose by the plant, by this tree. I just left it there to run for like a good 20 minutes. New growth came right away. You know, so the drought was just, it, it's too dry. This part of the food forest is like extremely dry. You know, so, you know, it, it, it almost lost that tree. So I'm happy I didn't, yeah. You know, and over here, guys, we have our, you know, I know you guys know what this is, uh, beautiful elderberry, yep, beautiful elderberry. Then we have right here, below here, this is a key apple, look at the thorns, guys. A key, a key apple, a key apple, something like that it is, yep. Let's turn around here. Yeah. This is just coming by, this is a black, black jam fruit. I think that's the name I'll put the name there in a minute yeah yeah this is just coming back from the winter as well all right let's walk over here mm -hmm.